Okay, so I get a lot of my students asking me, I walk into a music store and I see 5,000 different drumsticks as I see here. Mm -hmm. Where do you lead the absolute beginner that's never had a drum lesson, doesn't even know how to spell drum? Well, Where do we start? Typically, I'll ask whoever's asking uh, for drumsticks, I'll just mention, you know, well, are they for you? Are you, you know, how long have you been playing? Typically, if they're saying, well, I started yesterday, mm -hmm. um, I really have no idea. Well, the first thing I'll explain is that drumsticks are a complete thing of preference. Okay. Everything about drumsticks is just for how long you've been playing drums, what kind of style you play, or just what feels comfortable in your hands, really, is the biggest thing. Um, so the biggest thing to understand for drumsticks is that it's really up to you what kind of drumsticks you want to use. There's no particular rule for a particular wo uh, particular stick for a particular type of music or sound. Okay. Uh, if I walked in here and said, okay, I've never played before, whether I'm this age or whether I'm eight years old, where would you direct them first? Because well, they may not know what feels good in their hands. Well, typically I'll start them in the middle. That's okay. usually a good place to start because you'll, you know, it'll be an average style for a stick as far as its, uh, its diameter, its weight. Mm -hmm. um, so usually a, a 5A, 5A is, is a category okay. of a stick that is probably the most average. Okay. It's a, it, it's a pretty average size stick. Okay. Now, pretty much every drumstick company is going to make a 5A. Okay. So right there is, you know, almost a dilemma. It's like, oh, well, which brand do I use? Mm -hmm. Well, if I hold up a few different 5As... They look similar. They are very similar. The only thing I can really say that's different about them is going to be the shape of their tip. As an example, uh, Vic Firth is typically very popular to have sort of the teardrop shape or the, the acorn type tip. Mm -hmm. um, Vader and Promark have a more of an oval shaped tip. Promark a little bit more of a, a point on the end of it. But, uh, and, and those, uh, the, the different shapes of tips can, uh, you know, can bring different types of sounds to the drums, okay. typically, and the cymbals. So there's not the one that's better. So it's not the one's better, okay. but, you know, there will be slight differences between each of them. Okay. However, if you're beginning, mm -hmm. you can have any one of these, and they will serve you we'll absolutely fine. Okay. The number and the letter. The number and the letter. 5B, 5A, 7A, 8D. Help me out. Well, there's a few of them that are fairly standard for the most part. Okay. Between any of the companies, uh, they'll all have the standards. Okay. 5A is going to be your average type stick. Okay. Middle weight. Middle, middle weight. Length. Okay. 7A mm -hmm. is going to be a slightly smaller stick. A lot of jazz players and you know guys who are going to be playing lighter, any sort of Latin type music as well, okay. uh, typically will like either a 7A okay. um, or you know something in that area. Do you have a 7A area. here? Somewhere? I do. So a 7A compared to a 5A may not look like too much shorter. of a difference, but it'll be a touch shorter, and uh, it'll actually be a bit of a smaller diameter. Okay, now for the heavy rock player, so this <laughs> kid been playing for a couple of years and he just joined like, you know, a death metal band or something. Mm -hmm. um, 7A would not be the drumstick for him. No, 7A would not. Uh, the next step up from that would be getting into a 5B. B, for baseball bats? Is that what that is? <laughs> uh, well, it's getting there. There okay. are some that are bigger. Uh, it's going to be a touch longer, touch just longer. a touch. A bigger tip too. A bigger tip, a bigger shaft, and uh, just general, generally a little bit bigger. Okay, so you, you might start here with the, for the rock guys? The yeah, for the rock guys, a 5B, metal. or you can even get into uh, what's called an extreme uh, 5B, which will actually give you a slightly extended length on the stick, so you'll get a bit more of a reach between the f for the regular 5B and the extreme 5B. Uh -huh. Not every company will do that, but uh, a lot of companies will have their variations of it. Okay. So we got the 7A, which seems to be the smallest out of the ones in your hand. Then we got the 5A, which is bigger than the 7A. 5B, which is bigger than the 5A. And the 2B, which appears to be quite a bit bigger than the 7A. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, we have a category now. But what I'm seeing, it seems like the higher the number, the smaller the stick. Yep. The lower the number, the bigger the stick. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, very cool. Now, is there anything bigger than a 2B? <laughs> Glad you asked. I dare ask. Mm. Uh, there are. They're probably going to be a little harder to find because a lot of stores will find that uh, they have a bit of a harder time selling them. But uh, 
a lot of uh, drum core uh, type groups or for the guys that uh, really like hurting their drums um, can even move into some of the core master sticks and if I can actually compare this to uh, go back to a 5A the difference in stick is uh, quite astounding. I wouldn't suggest this on the snare drum, although some, or uh, sorry, on the drum set, although some people I'm sure do use it on the drum set. As long as but, you have uh, warranty on your cymbals. Yeah, and, and, a, and a drum head endorsement. Yes. Because um, I don't think you're going to break these anytime soon, right? Uh, probably not. Any, any, the only thing that's going to be breaking is what you're hitting them with. Right. So eventually, what I've noticed, I mean, over my, it's actually going to be 20 years of playing drums next year, and I was always playing what my drum teachers played, mm -hmm. or my favorite drummers, and I finally narrowed it down. I mean, the drumstick that I use to this day and I've been using for the last three years is the Extreme 5A uh, wood tip um, that uh, the Dean was talking about here, and that was purely by going through all of these sticks and using them and playing them. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried so hard to use my favorite drummer's drumsticks. Um, my favorite drummers, Neil Pert, Steve Gadd, Dave Weckl, Thomas Lang, Kira Jimbo, all these great players, and I personally can't use their drumstick. The reason being is because I find that these sticks were designed for those guys. And for myself, I'm very picky with what I use. I ended up going back to the first stick that you recommended, <laughs> which is the 5A, which is probably what I should have started with. And I found that a little bit more length was the drumstick that I use, but this is personal. It's a very personal thing. Um, for example, if we look at the Steve Gadd drumstick, I mean, for those of you who know who Steve Gadd is, he's one of the most incredible drummers in the world, and these work amazing for him, but I find these extremely light for me. It doesn't matter if I'm playing jazz or funk or rock, I have a hard time playing these. Mm -hmm. um, I have been a Neil Peart fan since day one, like most drummers. I have no idea how Neil uses those drumsticks, but when he plays them, it's incredible.